Hello everyone, my name is Ebolant. Welcome to another video of a series of stories of pixels and code. Actually, in this series, we will talk about the games and how they created and the team managed to create this. But in this episode, we have a special guest, which was actually were in all of my videos, but I didn't introduce you to him. Sir was standing right here and has a very important duty to point at my videos here, which you can actually go and see my other video. But before we start to talk about the hell divers in this episode, I really appreciate it if you click at the subscribe button and go my, to my channel and watch my other videos. So let's dive to the video. Actually, hell divers, hell divers explode this team last weekend. It's published, I think, 8th of February. It passed over 1 million sold in just actually three days. It's everyone's dream. Hey, you are sitting at home and you just published your online game. Everything's can go wrong. You no, know? but when you sold your game over 1 million copy, actually it passes 300,000 co-current players at actually the platforms Steam and PlayStation 5 and wow god bless their servers they actually you know, they were on fire all the weekend and you know they have to manage all the stuff they you know when you publish a game there will be a bug you know players find it and you have to fix it and imagine the bug fixing situation and your server melting down together how hard can be this situation and how arrowhead could manage this situation by now but i want to you know go a brief story about hell divers and arrowhead studio and you know uh, let's dive into the our pc hey, you yeah watch the videos Sirius is serious <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's dive to the video. Okay, Hell Divers 2 created by Arrowhead Game Studios, an indie Swedish studio established in 2008 by a group of Luleå University of Technology students studying in Skellefteå, and they actually moved to Stockholm in 2011 and 2012. The company founders are Johan Plestep, Emil Engel, and Millie. You don't care who carried the game, do you? Just go to the, you know, funnier part. So actually their first game, Magica, won the Game of the Year award at Swedish Game Awards in 2008. In 2011, Magica was released, published by Paradox Interactive after a contract with the publisher was signed in 2009. In the following years, Arrowhead developed the Showdown Effect, a 2.5D multiplayer action game inspired by 1980s and 1990s action movies, for which they stuck with Paradox Interactive to publish in 2013, and Gauntlet, a co-op dungeon action game which was published by Warner Bros. Games in 2014. In 2015, Arrowhead developed Helldivers, which was published by, by Sony Computer Entertainment for PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, PlayStation Vita, and Windows. And they published Hell Ever Now, which actually uh, published by Sony Interactive Entertainment for PlayStation 5 and Windows. Hell Ever 2 actually is a third person shooter developed by Arrowhead Game Studios and published by Sony Interactive Game. The game is sequel of the uh, 2015 Hell Ever. A gameplay. Unlike Hell Ever, which was a top down shooter, Hell Ever 2 is a third person shooter multiplayer third-person shooter. Similar to first game, players are able to select stratagems which our airdrop players can call, which include cluster bombs, sentry guns, shield generators, or stuff like that, containing limited use special weaponry. Friendly fire is always on, <laughs> you know, that's the fun part of the game, and the game's armor system is inspired by real firearms fired against armor targets. There is multiplayer Vita to four players, it also provides a cross-play feature between PC and PlayStation 5. Players for better experience. Arrowhead's multiplayer innovation involves human observers at the studio influencing gameplay in real time. Development and release. On 3rd of December 2020, Arrowhead Game Studios revealed that they were working on a new project expected to be released on PlayStation 5. It was confirmed that the game would be a third-person shooter. On 13th of September 
2021 Palaver 2 was mentioned in a GeForce Now leak. The game was teased in a TikTok post. The post shows Arrowhead's social media manager starting their workday, which is followed by a story of posts from fans demanding them to release the game. A portion of the game's trailer was leaked, but was you know, later removed. On 24 May 2023, Hellover 2 was announced during the 2023 PlayStation Showcase, which started that the game would release in 2023. On 6th of July of 2023, a trailer showcasing gameplay was released. On 13 July of 2023, rumors have started that the game would release in October 2023. During the same day, it received an M rating by an ESRB for blood and gore and intense violence. On 14th of September 2023, gameplay was shown in a PlayStation State of Play event. During the event, the game got an official release date set to 8th of February 2024. Pre-orders became available on 22 of September 2023. Actually, on 11 of February 2024, Arrowhead game CEO John Plitz announced that the game has sold approximately 1 million units. However, 2 was in development for 7 years and 11 months and 26 days. However, 2 finally launched. Playlisted said on Twitter, 7 years, 11 months, 11 months and 26 days of my life spent on making a game that truly evolves into a first of my favorite movies. That means however do started development on February 13th on 2016. That's only about two months after the studio ported Hellover 1 for PC. The Hellover series takes place in a satirical dystopian future where the totalitarian super earth government rules humanity. The games draw inspiration from military sci-fi like Aliens and Starship Troopers and see humanity at war with multiple alien races. While the first game featured top-down perspective, Helldivers 2 is a third-person shooter, also already proven to be a massive success for Swedish developer Arrowhead, with Helldivers 2 selling around 1 million copy as February 10, you know, actually, because Bro, what are you doing? You had just one responsibility for this video. Go back to your job. What the? Heck? After few seconds of discussion, he left the video. If you go for the end of the video without serious this time, maybe I can, you know, maybe I talk him into and be really okay for the next video. Maybe I won't promise that. Whatever you are, guys. My name is Ebolon and thank you very much for your support, comments, subscription and everything you done to this channel and every second that you spend watching my videos. I really enjoy reading your comments. So for maybe next video, I used your idea for the video of the story of pixels and code. So Ebolon here, Buspe Kallatun.